Hey folks, DJ EDC coming at you here with a new video that will serve as a channel introduction as well as an unboxing and overview of some new Spyderco knives that I've picked up recently. This channel will be centered around all aspects of everyday carry to include knives, wallets, flashlights, and other gear. Of course, being prepared begins with a solid everyday carry paired with the necessary skills to get the job done. We will go on later to discuss other gear and aspects of preparedness, but for now, let's delve right into these new knives that we'll be taking a look at today. First box, real nice Spyderco boxes, of course. Always package their knives really, really well. Really enjoy that. Is the Spyderco Pole Star. CTS BD1 steel on this one, as well as a very attractive bluish gray kind of G10. Steel liners that have been skeletonized, flow through construction. Typical Spyderco triangle clip with a very large lanyard tube. If you're into that kind of thing, you can throw a lanyard on it, but personally, I myself like to keep lanyards on my smaller knives just to keep them, you know, at the ready. Versus my larger knives, I really don't have a problem with fishing them out of my pockets compared to stuff like, you know, small Swiss Army knives and whatnot. This knife here was taken from a bird design, the Raven 2, and because of its popularity, carried over right into the budget lineup for Spider Co. This was formerly, of course, the Raven 2. For those of you that know a lot of Spider Co., you'll know that that was a very popular design. Chinese made, of course, but this one is not produced in the same factory as other knives like the Spider Co. Tenacious, which its review will come later on in this channel. For right now, we'll be focusing mainly upon these new knives. Now, let's go ahead and set this one down. We'll be testing that in the future, see what kind of performance we'll get out of it. I've heard great things on the forums about it, so I suspect that it will be a great new knife and a new addition to my collection. I picked up that knife actually for about $69.99, which is about the going price for it, streetwise, through retailers like Blade HQ, Cutlery Shop, Knife Center, and GP Knives and whatnot. Uh, tons of different retailers, obviously. Oh, I totally misspoke. I paid $59.99 for that, about 60 bucks. I am sorry, folks. This is a channel that will go through with minimal edits, almost no edits whatsoever, just because I like to do things on the fly. Moving forward, I will go ahead and unbox this other Spyderco that we have in front of me with, of course, a Benchmade 550 HG Mini Grip. Review will come on this one. This one's just wearing an aftermarket Emerson clip. I love the American flag design on it, and I love the satin finish on the blade, and I don't really care for that blacked out Benchmade clip that it was formerly wearing. Now, let's see if I can go ahead and open this package without cutting myself, which I am not known to do, actually, through my work. I am actually pretty much the safest guy when it comes to knives. I have never cut myself at work, and for those of you that don't know what I do, I am actually a knife salesman. So I picked this up through work, didn't have to go through an outside retailer, the pole store that is. This one of course came from an outside retailer, which you will find out here in just one second through this awesome US Priority Mail bag, always packaging stuff in envelopes rather than the flat rate boxes. Oh, there's another beautiful Spider Co. box. I believe that's all that was in there. Yep, no note or anything like that. Cool, cool. Let's see what's inside. Well, there it is, folks. For those of you that don't immediately recognize it, this is the new Spider Co. Delica an S30V with the Zome hand-dyed, Japanese-style hand-dyed scales on it. I've owned a Delica before in other steels, obviously, in the original steel from my very, very old Delica was G2 Stainless, I believe, and then, of course, the VG10 one, but when I saw this one in S30V, I just absolutely had to have it. Love the, the dyed scales as well. Very attractive. Don't much care for the yellow. 
actually drop down in the notes in the Blade HQ, which is the retailer that I picked this up at, in the comments. Basically, you can leave notes at checkout. And I asked them to preferably find a sample that had more green than blue. And don't know if they really regarded that note, but I mean, this one is almost perfect. Love it. Doesn't have too much yellow. I was afraid that we were going to have a huge blob of yellow just glaring out across this knife. But it does have more green than it has yellow. Really lightweight. Love it. Going to be a great everyday carry. With that S30V, the, the edge retention is going to be pretty phenomenal, hopefully. I mean, through my testing, I've really enjoyed using knives with S30V. My favorite knife by far that uses S30V is my Benchmade Crooked River. That one has diamond wood scales. I didn't opt for the G10 version because I just find the diamond wood scales to be a lot more attractive. And of course that review will come later. But I wanted to thank you guys for stopping in and taking a look at these new knives. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to making many more videos for you guys and uh, posting some new content. So keep an eye on the channel. Uh, we're not done yet. We have quite the road ahead of us. All right. Thanks for stopping in, guys.